Hi guys, it's Mel from Mel Dovey Scrapping. I'm here to bring you a layout that I'm about to pop together for Mixed Media Mayhem. Um, and this week's prompts, I have got stuff everywhere because I've been trying to get some of it prepared, is distress in any form or media. So I've started off with, I've cut my white cardstock down, which doesn't want to stick. Um, I did that, I just took, um, I think it was half an inch off each side. And um, then I went around with my scissors and distressed all the edges. And then I have gone around with my blank ink um, sponge and then I've just gone over, just so it's slightly on the edge here, but, and then some of this distressed stuff is a bit blacker than the rest. Um, I've got everything ready to go because I'm also doing this in conjunction with um, Hey Little Magpie's October Challenge, which is a sketch by Amy Cattenbelt. Now, I will show you what Amy's done here. This is her sketch that she has done. So I thought it was perfect to bring in what I needed to do. Um, now the other things for Mixed Media Mayhem was stencil work. So I've picked out a Vicky Boot and Fanwood stencil. Um, and tissue paper and or vellum. Well, I've actually got a bit of both. Um, I've cut out my bit for the middle. I've put very hard to deal with tissue paper. It's a real thick tissue paper. And it really doesn't like ripping one way, that way. It will rip fine the other way, but not one. Anyway, so I've given myself a little bit of a um, uh, pencil mark of where I'm going to be exactly. And I think I'm going to go over like that. So I'm going to do pink and orange. Now, I don't know whether to go. I might go orange first. So, I'm going to go. No rhyme or reason, just. Oh, I should have taken pink off as well. That back now. And I am just ink blending the pink and the orange together. I know, weird combination, hey? Kind of makes it look like a red. Let's go that. Okay, now. I had this along the bottom and I wanted to come in a bit. So. 
Okay. Take the earrings off. This is also um, scraps. I'm doing this out of scraps. From let me check that's still recording. Yes, it is. Uh, from my uh, scrap backwards kit. And I actually started off with picking out some um, embellishments for this first and then realised, okay, I know what photos I want to do. I'll put them in a bit. And this was, this was just a piece I had that I'd obviously torn off another sheet. I had two of them, so hopefully this is all going to fit. Because I kind of don't want to hide my distressed edges. I want to show them. Like so... Sorry, I should have had this done already, but I didn't. I'm not that organised today. I just wanted to show everyone what you can actually do with scraps. This bit, I have to admit, that was a, a full sheet because I haven't actually done There was three full sheets I've got in the colour study left. Uh, and I really didn't know what I was going to do with that, to tell you the truth. So I pulled it out and I made it my backing. Cut the middle out. And then tore this bit here out and then pop the okay now go on up about there now I've got to see if this backing comes off the tissue paper double sided tape oh it might be gonna work look at that just gonna get it started on there roughly <laughs> I have my photos and it is actually of um, my daughter and my husband go like that I need to pop this down in here like so but I need to pop a little bit of tissue paper Um, it's on our trip to Coles Bay last year, um, and we're going up to Wineglass Bay Lookout 
and you literally have to like, go up a mountain um, have to hike up a mountain I thought I was going to die halfway uh, get that bit there go show a little bit and we need a little bit over that side so let's go like this like that. I'm going to pop this on its side. Now I'm going to get that stuck down so that I know where I'm going. Hopefully you can still see what I'm doing. I've got a couple of stickers picked out. for a bit. Yeah, that's not really a good place. Actually, I will pop, that's going to be my title, here we go. So let us go. So let's get that one popped down. And I've distressed around the black of this as well, of all around the mats of the photos. Yeah, like that. <clears throat> Alright. Got anything on the back of that either? This is all from colour study that I haven't used yet. Probably looks like a mess, but I needed to be able to get everything on there. Get these down. Amy's actually got a big leaf coming up that way, but I'm not going to put a leaf because I think my paper has enough leaves on it. Alright, so let's go. Like that. I'm going to bring that one down there. On with our title, round title, which is out of my kit again. I'm trying to get some embellishments to use up that I've had for a little while. That's my black ink going everywhere. So we'll go right here like that. Right, so that's that. I have, oh now I've got my banner to put on. I have a banner in this. This is originally what started it all. Get 
take that out. Oh, please tell me, what have I done? I have stuff literally everywhere. to outside with that. Well, there's my banner used. Here is my butterfly I'm going to use. Which I'm going to put like, what's not gone there? Pop it there like so. Right, now. Hit the road. I'm gonna pop easy breezy. My daughter thought it was easy breezy. Husband and I didn't. And adventures. Now I have to admit these ones I did get out of the simple stories summer collection. Um I think I may pop my mountain. So that's a flare from the flare heart. We're still dotty about flare. Now we're not gonna not gonna focus again today. That might when I pick it up. Still recording. Yeah. That was my, I'm going there, I have another pavilion out. What happens when you get on there it is. Don't forget to enjoy the view. I might pop that down in there, that bit of vellum. Yes, that's where I'm putting it. Sometimes things just go and sometimes they don't. I now move stuff out of the way so everyone can see what I'm doing. Don't forget to, to don't forget to enjoy the view because the view from the top was beautiful. We might stick our mountain ribbon to go under there like so. That's where we'll put our mountains. Because this was literally walking up a mountain. Yeah, I feel like that. I'm going to go, okay, here we go. There you go, look at that. Got blue heart to stick on. I'll go through those in a moment. The um, stickers. I think I've only got dots left. Some more of these orange dots. Yeah, like so. There's that. 
Right, some more of that you've got. Okay, so I didn't use any more of those. Check there's nothing on these. <clears throat> I'm probably going a little overboard. It's enough. That's what I was saying. It's enough. Put that underneath our bad boy. Let it go, sick. I think that'll do. Maybe I won't pop that there and let it come off. Let us see. Yeah, I think we all. Okay, I might leave that off. I think that's all I'm going to do, everybody. And I think today I'm not going to finish off with gems. I think I might do some ink spiders. So, this is for Mixed Media Mayhem with our recipe for this week. Second week. So, we've done our stencil work. Slides. We've got tissue paper. And we've distressed. So, I've distressed by with the scissors around the edges of the paper main paper the black paper i was going i was going to lift that up a bit more and just dress i kind of wanted the distress look by putting some black ink around it to really stand out so with doing that it's our recipe it's our sketch from amy hey little magpie and i think we'll finish with splatters I will journal on here. Um, so, where is our cardboard? Probably done it, Adam, and gone more is more. But that's things I wanted on there because mountains is what we were doing. We're walking up a mountain. And we need to protect the. Um, and the tag that I used, I kind of wanted one to say something. So this was a fabulous day. It was a fabulous day. It was exhausting but fabulous. And I wanted that bit of vellum because the view from the top. Oh, magnificent. Alright. So no gems today, but we're finishing off with ink splatters. Whoa. Okay, that's what I want to do. Splattered everywhere. Back. Careful where we put our fingers. Lift it up. Not that it's going to focus properly today. I don't know what's wrong with this camera today. I'll have to do some uh, uh, close ups um, and put them at the end for you. And we're still going. So, now there will be other people playing along with Mixed Media Mayhem. And I'll have them all listed down below in the description box. Um, now, if you think you might like this um, layout, press pause, take a screenshot and have a go. Because you may 
be able to do something a little bit more like what uh, Amy's got on hers. Mine's probably a little bit too big. Um, I probably needed to, to condense it a bit more, but I didn't want to cut my photos down too much more. Um, and if you do like what I have done today, if you could give me a thumbs up, that would be fantastic. Um, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. It doesn't cost to subscribe, like or comment. The same when you check out everyone else down below in the description box. Um, you know, uh, comment on, you know, give them a like, comment on what you, you know, something that you might like about their layout. Subscribe if you're not already because it doesn't cost. Um, and it just helps us to grow our channel and to keep, oh, look at my hands, black ink everywhere. Um, so thank you everyone. Thank you to all my subscribers and all my new subscribers. I am absolutely grateful. Um, it's been a pleasure and I'm having fun doing these videos and the layouts. I've got so many layouts laying around here. It's just unbelievable. Um, and I just thought I'd do something a little bit different than 30 days of sketches today. Um, anyway, I hope everyone is having a fabulous Friday um, and I will see you later on with another video. Bye for now.